What is up? How are you guys doing? I am doing good. I am not 100%, but holy crap, today is the first day in like 11 days that I haven't felt like I might be dying. Now, I did get tested and I did have COVID, but apparently I got an extremely bad stomach flu. And I have been living in hell for the last 11 days. Like, it has not been fun. You know all the stuff that happens when you get a stomach flu, and that was what was going on. The worst part is I had no energy. I just had no enthusiasm. I had no motivation. I just didn't feel good. And uh, as a result of that, you uh, have, will have been bombarded with a ton of videos recently. Because as I'm recording this, I have four videos that I have not edited yet. I got content to put out, but I just have not had any desire to do so. So, boom, subscribe. Thumbs up, ring the bell, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing. Um, I'm kind of actually really happy that I felt as bad as I did in the last week because this is the only thing I'm going to say about it. There's been a lot of really, well, there's one, there's been one really negative person in the community who has just snowballed this cancerous, evil, hateful, abusive series of events that have affect like uh that's all i'm gonna say this person needs to go everybody needs to ignore this person they need to block him they need to mute him they need to unfollow unsub report every one of his videos and just move on stop talking about him which i'm doing right now but i haven't had a platform to do so until now but that's all i'm gonna say just get him out of here don't feed the trolls trolls feed on anger and hate they love it. So I hope that you have enjoyed the most recent videos. Um, I can't even remember all of them right now. I mean, I know what they were for the most part. But the last one you watched, that one was pathetic. That one was right smack dab in the middle of my illness and uh, I'm kind of scared to go watch it because when I, I remember when I recorded that video, I did not feel good. I felt horrible. So that's probably not going to be the best video. And I think that the box that I opened was probably the worst mystery box I've ever opened in my life too. So that didn't help. Hopefully this is one of the better mystery boxes I ever opened in my life. Now we're not going to do any weird segments. Um, I don't actually have a lot of incoming stuff to talk about. I do have a Pop King Paul mystery box, which is going to arrive in a couple days. That's the $350 one. Um, I had really been looking forward to that until I got sick. And then I was just kind of like, eh, I don't care. But now I'm excited again. I'm excited again to get this Pop King Paul mystery box. And, uh, yeah, the San Diego Comic-Con thing, that drops Wednesday evening. Um, there's one in particular I'm going to try to get. We'll see how that works out. But, yeah. Thank you guys for being patient with me while I have not been putting out content. Um, hopefully all this flood of videos that I'm releasing will help for that. I have not even worked on my custom All Might. I plan on doing that today and tomorrow. Get that finished up by Wednesday. Ship it out to Brandy. Boom. My custom. I did do this. Oh, easy there, buddy. I put the little Chase sticker on the box. This one's going to go for high dollars. This is going to earn a lot of money for the Children's Brain Tumor Foundation. better so I've missed out on a lot of the recent J Novo toys mystery boxes due to lack of funds 
you know, my Funko paycheck happens once a month. And uh, I totally spaced out on the one he dropped Sunday. Otherwise, I would have got that one. But this one dropped on Wednesday, which was my payday. So it was a $25 guaranteed value mystery box. Um, the top prize is a over $100 Jason Voorhees, I believe. So, regardless, we got our money back on this. Hopefully, we did better than 25 bucks. So, let's find out. I know you guys are used to me talking a lot, and you would think that after being away for a while, I just know that I have a bunch of videos to edit. So... And again, I don't have a bunch of stuff coming in, so I don't have a bunch of stuff to talk about. I think I talked about everything we need to talk about. That's all that matters. We got the James Alexander business card. He's got a website. He's got an email. He's got an Instagram. Boom. Are we blurry? Yes. All right, two boss. One in a protector, one not in a protector. So obviously we're opening the one not in a protector first, because that's what you do, because usually the protector one is the most valuable one. And boom. Lobo. DC. I'll be perfectly honest, I don't know who this is. It's one of those PX previews exclusive limited to like 380,000 pieces um, speaking of things I saw a post from disc.pops and there was a release on Amazon of the Batman Beyond complete blu-ray set that included the metallic Batman Beyond Funko Pop for a very, very, very good price. So I bought one. I have not watched a single Batman Beyond movie or episode, so I'm looking forward to that. I need to get an external Blu-ray player so I can watch them, but uh, yeah. You're not gonna be buying a lot of pops this paycheck. Just kinda wanna hang on to some money as a reserve. But uh, that's pretty cool. Box condition's pretty good. That's the character, apparently. Again, I don't know who that is. And then the one in a protector. Let's see, there's the bottom. That should be the back. Boom! All right, we got the Gabriel Iglesias Fluffy. Not the signed one, but this was exclusive to his own website. Um, I don't watch TV. I don't have cable. I have Netflix and Hulu. So I'm sorry. I don't know who this is. I'm sure he's hilarious, but let's check out the value on these two things, shall we? Lobo. The new pop price guide. Starting to get used to it a little bit. It's kind of annoying. You have to scroll way down through a bunch of filters and ads. Um, he's six bucks. What is, what's the different variant? There's one. Oh, there's a bloody one. Do I have the bloody one? I think I do. Yes, I have the bloody one. Apparently the bloody one is only worth six bucks. The non-bloody one is worth 11. And then the Gabriel Iglesias. Fluffy. 
I don't know if putting in fluffy is going to work, but I'm sorry. What? So just the straight up pop itself, not the signature version, has a pop price guide of $50. I've heard that the pop price guide thing is a little bit wonky. Uh, let's see if we click on it and see some sales. Well, there's been one sale in the last seven days, and that was 33 bucks. Um, in the last 30 days, the average is $53. It peaked and now it's gone back down. I don't know if it's still available on the website. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. But I think over value wise, we can put this at like 45, which is still great. Like we're still over $50 in value for our $25 box, which is kind of the standard operating procedure for Jay Navo. His boxes are packed full of value like you people are getting their money back and more on these boxes so I can't complain um, I know there's got to be somebody out there that loves this comedian I just don't know him maybe I'll look him up but there you go boom Jay Navo our $25 mystery box that we got over double value Alright guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We will talk to you soon.